Hey guys, James Saints. So a quick video. This is about using the TARDIS. I believe is how you say it. It's really made for gaming. The TARDIS device. Uh, it's it's under a hundred dollars. So the, what I'm trying to solve is I switch from Adobe Premiere Pro to to DaVinci. And the keyboard shortcuts, you know, are different. So you know, after ten years of Adobe. Now I gotta learn it, but I like DaVinci Resolve. It, it it doesn't freeze up like Adobe, and it it works so much better with uh, 360 video. So that's that two big things about Adobe. I'm tired of paying 600 a year. So DaVinci Resolve 18 is 300 300 dollars one time. It's not a subscription. I believe it's lifetime updates. Anyway, it works great. Um, so I had bought the keyboard. It was specifically made for DaVinci with shortcuts on the keyboard. Um, but when the, I got that from Amazon, and I forget who makes it, but it was uh, two of the keys had fallen off, and I could put one key back on. The other key, I think it was the enter, enter key, would not go back on, so I sent that back. So I had seen online about people using this. Not a lot, just a couple of videos. Um, and so I got it, and I was initially stumped about how to set it up. So once you plug it into USB, it's a USB connection. And I've been having some problems plugging into USB extenders. Like it doesn't recognize my Rode wireless audio. But anyway, you may have to plug directly into your PC. I, I've plugged into an extender. And then once you, um, then you register your software. So let me show you this. It's, um, so there's two, there's two. There's two razor type software, so it's not not it's not this razor cortex. You have to also download. I think it's called it's called Razor Synapse. So when you're registering your product, download this Razor Synapse so that you can come to your your product here. And when you double click on it. Now, this is the way that you set up your keys. So the things that are highlighted, I've already assigned functions. And this is by no means, you know, I may have, you may look and go, well, why the hell do you have that for X? Why do you have that for home? Why do you have that for end? I'm not sure. I'm not saying this is, this is the best flow of the keys. Um, I just, I'll sit here with this in my left hand and then my right hand is over on the mouse and I'm off my my physical uh, windows keyboard a lot but uh, initially i was a little stumped and i guess if you're a gamer you'd be like of course idiot this is the way you set up all i'm, I'm, I'm not a gamer i don't i don't play video games um so but i'll show you here like for example button 16 i have set up for uh, for undo, control Z. And I thought I had set 17 up for redo, but it's, you can hover over it and it says keyboard function is space, it's the space bar. Well, this was already defaulted. There's a couple of things that were defaulted. This was defaulted to the space bar, which I'm going to leave that, but I'll show you here. And so this is how you program your keys. Um, so you click on 17. I mean, that that's the key I'm going to reprogram. And I'm on keyboard function. So, and if you want to rebind the key, because I've already connected it once, I'm just going to hit Control Shift, um, Control Shift uh, Z. So this is undo, and I'm going to save that. And so now, you know, my 16 is uh, undo, and now Control Shift Control Z is redo. And so like. If you wanted uh, to, to assign a new function, it would be the same. I, I don't know what I want on these keys up here yet, but keyboard number two, or on, on key number two, go over here to keyboard function. And, I, I mean, I'm not, I already have that as, as X, but I'll just, this box is highlighted. I'll just hit X, and then you have to click Save. And so now, Key number two is, is X, which is delete, which I, I don't want it to be that. I'll change it to something. Um, so additionally, uh, if if you were working, let me open up DaVinci. You can also, as you're looking, trying to figure out what, what you want your keyboard shortcuts to be, 
and and I, everybody will be different. And, you know, maybe I'll find somebody's key keys that are that are a better layout than mine. <laughs> I'll I'll switch, but um, you know, you can go to DaVinci Resolve up here and then click on keyboard customization. And if you want to know what, like, for example, oh, that's what I want to, that's what I want number two to be. I want, so you, like, you could, you could go through here and search for what is assigned to what, or you can click on a key like I, that's mark in, and O is mark out. So that's, that's actually what I want number two and number three to be. So let me minimize DaVinci. Oh, let me close that. Minimize DaVinci. And then I'm still on the, it's not Cortex, Synapse. I'm still on Synapse. So I'm going to go to number two, click on it. It's already on keyboard function, got a box. I want that to be to mark in. So that's going to be I. And then you have to click Save. So you have to know what the keyboard shortcut in DaVinci is. Um, rough code, don't get up here. Don't get up here. And then, so let's make number three. I gotta go here, highlight keyboard function. That's gonna be O for out, for marking in and mark, that's for marking out, save. So, I mean, you have to know, you have to either go to DaVinci and look up what the keyboard shortcut is or search on the internet. All right, my cat's gonna jump up here. So you have to know what the keyboard shortcut in DaVinci is. You have to know what it what it means in DaVinci when you press I, which is the same as Adobe Premiere Pro and O, or at least my version is. Um, so you have to know what the shortcut is so that you assign it to a specific key. All right, guys, I hope this helps because I didn't see them. I only found one video, so it wasn't easy to find how to set up this, what do you call it? Heart to Taurus. The gamers out there are probably dying. Oh my God, he doesn't even know what it's called. He bought it and he doesn't even know what it's called. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up and help my channel. And if you found the information helpful or useful, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, remember to turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes out. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.